for me, this is an awkward video to make because when I created the Sky Story channel, I guess about two years ago, my only intention was to create a channel to explore astronomy and other avenues of earth sciences. And yes, astronomy is an earth science. But events in the world today are staggering. Now, I'm a Canadian, and as a Canadian, I find them especially staggering. I have to admit, over the last two weeks, I have been shocked by the conduct of the President of the United States. Shocked. As is pretty much every Canadian I know, and that includes the Quebecois. And look, I'm French by background. I understand the mindset. By and large, Quebecois think of themselves as unique within the country. Quebecois first, Canadian second. President Trump even has the French thinking. They're proudly Canadian. Canadians are known around the world as generally polite, mild-mannered, peaceable. We would rather dialogue and reason than war. But amongst ourselves, we argue and bicker. We have different political and religious views, different perspectives on things. And we're okay with that because that's what democracy is. People learn to live together despite their different opinions. But in truth, the conduct of the United States, for the first time in as long as I can remember in my entire life, has polarized this country. Because, to be honest, we're shocked. We are absolutely shocked. We are literally the United States' closest ally. The United States and Canada share the world's longest unguarded border. We have the most international marriages of any two countries in the world. We happily welcome Americans among us, and up until recently, we thought that Americans happily welcomed us among them. We are a wealthy nation with comparatively little in the way of violent crime, and we have a stable democratic system of government. So we are just shocked by the actions of President Trump from the moment he got into office to not just threaten us, but to threaten other traditional, very close allies of the United States, such as Denmark. And for me, I take this as a very, very personal thing. You see, I have family that are very important to me on the other side of the border. My sister-in-law moved to the States with her parents who were Canadian well, about 20 years back. And she fell so in love with America that she became an American citizen and served in the American military. In the military, she was injured and she's had to deal with the lifelong consequences of those injuries. And she gave up her physical health and many aspects of her life for the United States. My father was serving in the, in the Canadian military and he felt so bad for the United States when it was attacked in World War II that he received special dispensation and joined the United States military because he wanted to help the Americans. And he too was injured in that war, an injury of course which did not kill him because I was here, I was born decades later. But that injury complicated his life, in many ways wrecked his life, and led to his early death. And do you know, not once did he ever so much as utter a syllable that he regretted his choices. He was proud to have served in the American military in their time of need. And so President Trump comes into office taking shots at us. And, and everybody here in Canada is thinking, why? When 911 happened, we took your stranded travelers in. Over the last several weeks, during the LA wildfires, we had our water bombers there to help you fight those fires. As Prime Minister Trudeau said recently in his reaction to the American terrorists, we were always there. When the United States was in crisis, we have always been your friend and your ally, and we were always there. And Trump's conduct has been to attack us, and not just us, his closest allies. And I can't help but thinking, what has gone wrong with your country that your president would do this? I read several languages and I was reading this morning that German polls have shown that about a quarter of Germans no longer consider the USA to be a reliable ally after Trump's statements and threats to attack the EU. They consider Russia to be a more reliable ally than the USA. So, America, where are you going? Why are you doing this to the world around you? And perhaps above all, why are you attacking even your closest allies? Even us here in Canada, and we would very much like to be your friends. 
I'm going to be frank, Trump keeps saying that the United States subsidizes uh, Canada, and I owe Trump nothing. I owe him no allegiance. I've made him no pledges. I never have and I never will. I'm just going to be blunt. He is flat out lying to you. Simply lying. Canada is one of the seven richest countries in the world. Nobody subsidizes us. We actually buy more products from you than you buy from us. There is a difference in energy consumption, but that's simply because we produce more energy than we use and we sell the surplus to you and at a substantial discount to help you out. So where this bizarre hostility comes from, this, these attacks, these weird lies, it has left us in shock. Shock, but not awe, just shock. What is wrong with you? We're Canada. We're a peaceful people by nature, and we would like to be friends, we would like to dialogue, and we would like to work things out. And I really genuinely hope we can. I have many, many friends on both sides of the border. I have family on both sides of the border. But whatever direction you're going, it seems like you're going there alone. I hope somehow you bring sanity back to your country because we're not your enemy. We were never your enemy. When you have been in need, we've always been there for you. We're not ever, and I mean ever, going to be the 51st state. I don't know a single Canadian who wants to be the 51st state. Your frankly bizarre president keeps making statements like he's going to refuse trade with us and put us under siege. Look, we have almost no national debts, and we are an exceedingly wealthy country. We will simply ride it out. There will be a bit of a recession here, and we will develop trade elsewhere. And if you push us, we'll trade around you. And that will be to your detriment because you need our resources. We do not want things to be like that. But if push comes to shove, then I guess just like a spouse in an abusive relationship, we will take our relationship elsewhere. But we're all North Americans. And we can be friends and we can be family. I hope one day you can accept that. And this video is just going to have to be received or rejected as it will. I'd never created this channel to become, I don't know, it's not a big channel. It's nearing 10,000 subscribers. I never expected that to become this channel. When I created this channel, I was just sharing my love of astrophotography and the somewhat unusual way that I go about developing astrophotography. And like I said, I wanted to explore science with other people, explore astronomy and the other Earth sciences. It had literally never crossed my mind to make a political statement on this channel. I'm not by nature a political person. But right at this moment, it's hard to find the motivation to do so. We are just all so shocked in Canada. I think the shock here, the anger, is as palpable as Americans probably felt during the start of World War II when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. Up until that moment, from what I understand, relationships had been strained, but there had been hope. And now we're wondering just what is going on with you? Please get your act together. I don't know what you're trying to do down there, but let's not do this. Let's try to be sane and get along, okay? That's what we in Canada would most like to do. So I guess that's really all I have to say about this. I, I don't know what's going on with you down there, but... I read news from Germany, France, Spain, elsewhere in the world all the time, and the world is watching. And quite frankly, the free world is disgusted. And if you can even polarize Canadians, if you can make Canadians so angry that they come together and all say, I don't care whether they're terrorists or not, we're done buying American goods. And that's how everybody here feels right now. So if under your present government, you can even universally turn Canadians against you. Your long-time, multi-generational friends and allies who have fought beside you in war and stood by you in times of crisis. Then I hope you understand what you're doing to yourselves on the world stage and I hope wherever you're going, you come back to something approaching sanity.